morning friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a project that I did that is geared more towards my decoupage friends. However, this is more a review about this specific printer, the Epson Echo Tank 2760. And I'm excited that I got this, even though it was a little pricey. It was a little over $300. I'm going to put the link down below so you're aware I did order this originally on Amazon from a seller by the name of Heotech, H-A-O space T-E-C-H. And I was not happy that they told me for about seven days that it was on its way. And then they finally sent me an email saying, oh, you know what? We don't have this in stock after all. That was not good. So I went back to Amazon and I ordered it from a different seller. I just would not recommend the original seller since you don't want to look forward to getting this and then it doesn't show up. So the main reason that I got this is because I needed a second printer. This has these inks that you fill on your own. Now these inks, whether you want to use them for sublimation or regular color printing, they come with two full jars of black ink three different colors. You can see it's all sealed up here. I'm just showing you that I got this brand new, took it out of the box and printed with these inks. So the, the main reason that I got it was because I do have a laser printer, but my husband uses it uh, very often for his business, does a lot of printing. It's very costly to refill those laser inks or toner as it is. And you know, if you've got one of the older inkjet printers, it is so expensive to use the original brand of ink. And even the knockoffs can be expensive if and when they work. And if you want to replace these inks, now I've noticed for the sublimation inks, it's about $27 to replace all four. And they last quite a long time. The colors are vibrant, as you'll see. It was very easy to get this started. I thought it was a really nice touch that they added full-size inks. You know, this is technically an inkjet printer, but I wanted to see how well it fared when we get the images wet and what we could do to prevent bleeding if there is any. So let's see what happened. Now, since I am specifically reviewing this printer, I did want to let you know the ease of setup. It was simple to set up. Fill the inks. You just pull up these tabs. I was wearing gloves because this ink will stain. You see I've got some plastic underneath it. And you just put the ink bottle into the well and you leave it sit and you can hear it. I tried to record it, but it's very faint, very hard to hear, but you can hear the bottle emptying out into the tank. Once you don't hear this bottle or jar rather emptying out anymore, you know that the tank is almost full. They do make you go back one more time to empty the bottle. That was a little confusing to me. I don't know why they did that, and it kind of threw me off a little bit, but I am also admittedly very impatient. I just wanted to fill it and get started, so that was my fault. I was rushing. Uh, so once these were all filled, I just followed the rest of the instructions carefully. It told you to plug it in. Now I am using this in my new studio, which is still in total disarray. I'm trying to organize things and that's taking me quite a while. But the computer is on one end of the house and the studio is on the other. So I was a little worried about setting this up in there that I would go through all of that trouble and then would have to move it closer to the router and the computer, but that was not an issue at all. In any case, I just set this beginning part up right here. It walks you through the steps on the screen, on the paper. I wasn't confused at all. This part went by like a breeze, very easy. When I finally did move this into my studio, I came back to the computer 
to set up the printer so that it would print wirelessly. And it turned out that it printed immediately. So this is the printer at actual speed. So I hit print from one end of the house. We don't have a huge house, but it was three rooms away. I hit print, went into the studio, and this is how long this takes. Now I'm showing you this because I want you to know if you're looking for a printer with speed, I don't believe this is your printer. And this is an all-in-one, meaning it's got the scan, the fax, print, copy, etc. But I was really impressed with the colors on here. This was the other main reason that I got this printer. Inkjet prints tend to bleed and run, but the colors are much more vivid and beautiful and sharp than the laser prints. Some people rave about this for sublimation printing. I am showing you right here that I am using cheap hairspray over this because I wanted to protect this from bleeding or running. I also put it outside in the sun. It's very hot out today, a little bit humid, but I knew that the sun would also help bake the color on here. You can also use a blow dryer. Now, I did all of this before I even tried to see if it bled or ran, but my experience with inkjet is that it definitely does bleed and run. But I will say this, it does seem to bleed and run less than the standard inkjet prints from our older printers, which is why I said this is cutting edge. There is some type of a difference to this printer. Now, I'm still reviewing the printer and the print, but I'm showing you what I did to test this, and this is more for my audience, the people that do decoupage or transfers, because I went to the Goodwill store, I bought a cute little frame for like $4. I'm just taking the tag off here. Then I took the original picture out. You can see the glass here. And I wanted to, by the way, I washed that glass. I know it's very dirty. I wanted to attach or decoupage my picture to this surface so that I could put the glass over it and hang this back up as a pretty picture. So here's where the rubber meets the road because I wanted to find out if I could do this without causing a lot of bleeding or running. And trust me, the older inkjet printers, this would have been a mess if I had done this with one of those. This printer, however, I took my decoupage glue and I always suggest the Deco Art matte decoupage glue. Since we're not working with napkins here, this is the standard decoupage glue. And since this is not necessarily a DIY on how to do this, I'm just showing you how I did this quickly so that you can see what ended up happening when I got this surface wet. So I did use a cheap hairspray over the surface to protect it. By the way, before I did that, I'm sorry I didn't show you, I did drip some water on it and run my finger over it, and I didn't have a problem with bleeding or running right away. I still know that inkjet can run. So I just took a piece of plastic here, and I am attempting now just to make sure there are no wrinkles under here. So I'm just getting all of that. Uh, excess glue that may be underneath here out. And to be on the safe side, I then sprayed a coat of this workable fixative. Now, the idea with this is it is supposed to protect your pastel work, pencils, you can see chalk drawings, that would be your charcoal pencils. And I wanted it to also protect this image, so I did spray it over that. Now we're going to put this to the test, and I'm going to put a layer of the decoupage glue over the top. So ideally, this should not run at all. We should be able to decoupage with this. I'm really looking forward to doing the dry technique, which is where you put the decoupage glue down on the surface first, let it dry, and then you iron the image on because I believe heat will really set this ink even a bit more. And because I want to make sure that there are no 
clumps of paint or brush marks in here. I am very carefully going over this with my fingertips just to make sure, again, no brush marks. I want this as smooth as possible. And you want to hold it up to some strong light to make sure there are no wrinkles or air bubbles in here. Now, once this dried, and you can see it's all dry now. I'm going to put it back in the frame. I'm really impressed with the colors. And again, this is from the Goodwill store, so this wasn't a brand new frame or mat. And I am all done. So let's flip this over. I'm going to secure this the right way now. And look at how this picture that I took myself and printed out on my new Epson printer came out. I am really impressed with that. So far, so good when it comes to decoupage. I have not yet tried to run rice paper or any other paper through this printer. So that will be my next challenge. We will see how well this works with transfers in a future video. Uh, but in the meantime, I did want to tell you that I am very impressed with the cost of these inks. Even though it's a little expensive right now to buy it, I waited until my birthday and I asked people for gift cards. And then I got this printer with the gift cards on Amazon. So, and I also know this is going to pay for itself very well in the long run because we always have our printers for a very long time. The colors are beautiful. I'm very impressed. It's not the fastest printer, but I don't need it for speed. So guys, I hope this helped you out. Links will be below for this printer and some papers. I'm really happy with this. I uh, hope you guys like this video and I will see you next week. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.